Hello, uh, today I'd like to make this cute little uh, bunny cup and uh, you can put candy or whatever inside and uh, you can give them out for Easter to co-workers or to your grandkids or make them for your kids classes or uh, numerous reasons. All right, just uh, make them for the fun of it and give them to your family. <laughs> Right, I just did that in my class today, so I figured I'd share a video, and I'm sorry I haven't made one in a while. Life has just took over. My son was in the hospital Sunday through Thursday, and I was like so busy with the grandson because he's homeschooled, so I had to put my teacher hat on, and uh, just getting caught up now. My son's home, everything's good now, and so I can get back to work. <laughs> Right, so we'll go make the little bunny cup and we'll put candy in it. Let me tell you what you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need one of the cups from uh, Stampin' Up. You get 10 in a pack. So, and I'll, I'll list everything that you will need. So you need a cup. And then you would need four of the scallops. Oops, hold on just a second. Let me flip this over. I was using that for a photograph and I needed the, the white. So, All right. So you need a piece of ribbon to go around the, the cup. You can just uh, measure around and then cut it. I'm not exactly sure how, how much that is. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, about 14 inches. All right. You'll need four of the scallop circles. Two of the pink ones. Did I leave one in there? No. Oh man, now I need a pink one. Hold on just a sec. I still want out this cup because I'm making these for um, gifts for people. All right, so I'll take this one. All right, so you'll need two of the ovals. And you'll need two of the one inch circles so this is going to be the ears these are going to be the feet or the, the foot the foot foot so that will be the bottom pad why am i missing so many pieces good night yeah still again from this one i picked the wrong packet didn't i that's the other pad then you need three little half inch circles Right, this is um like a two and a half inch scallop and this is like a two inch I did it in the um, powder pink so same size for that this is a half inch a three-quarter inch circle and these are half inch circles so you need that on one foot and same thing on the other so you need those then you need these will be the cheeks we're going to put those together like so. And the little um, nose part will go up top. So you have two one inch circles and a half inch. And then for the eyes, we are going to do two three quarter inch circles and two half inch in the black. And we're going to just glue them on there. And you'll need a bow as well. And of course some candy to put in your cup. So I just put like a little assortment in, in here and I'm just going to like, you can put a bow on it and make it pretty and put it in your cup, but that's where it's going. Okay, so let's start with the lid. And I did make a template and I'm going to have it on my blog. And this is like the template so you would know the sizes for everything and I will post this on my blog. So. Take a look at my blog uh, if you want this. So it's free, don't cost anything. It's just uh, a template that I made up so it'd make it easier. So let's start gluing. Right, I'm going to use liquid glue. If I can get this to work. So you take your little pink, powder pink circle, and we're going to lay it on there. There's one. And two. Three. 
Now, this is not my original idea. There are lots of them out there. Um, I saw this just a little while ago by um, a lady that's in our group, Penny, and she had made something similar, and I thought, oh, that's a cute idea. I have to make them for my class. So this will be my last monthly class before Easter. So I thought, ah, oh, perfect day to make it. So the bottoms of the foot, we are going to just put there. There. Easier to do this way, right? just stick the put the glue in and then just squash these little circles up now. And then that, that, Let's get over, and one more. So we'll let these dry just a little. Put them up there. Okay, then we do our eyes. Put some glue there and glue there. I find it better to um, put the eyes at the very bottom. Otherwise, they kind of look wonky. It's like, they look kind of weird when you put them in the middle. You can't get them to look straight. As we do them like this, they kind of look straight at least. Right, that's good. Now for the cheeks, I just did a little bit of glue on the side and then put that on here, like so. And we'll take this little piece for the nose. Or you could do it as a tongue sticking out either way. <laughs> and put it on, oops, I've got it backwards. Golly, put it on there. So she can see a little bit of the bit sticking up. Now we're going to take our eyes and glue them on too. Push them up. All right. Our lid. We'll do that. And then we'll take, our, well, let's draw. Do you need a little uh, a black marker? Or you could do a dark pink or some other color. And we're going to just do our whiskers. Like put some whiskers on here. And then put like the little dots that they have before the whiskers. We'll glue this on here too. And then I use some uh, tear and tape. I can find the end. Just to hold my ribbon in place when I'm uh, gluing it. So I'm going to put a piece here. And we'll take our ribbon and just turn it around. And we'll take another piece of tear tape. And put it here. Just so as it holds it on here. There we go. One. And this is powder pink ribbon. Um, yeah. And then if you want to just even up a bit, you just snap, snip that piece off. And we're going to put, I put a bow and I'm going to do the same thing here. Take a piece of my tear and tape. Put it on the back of my bow. Squash it on there. So it transfers to my ribbon. Peel off the back. 
stick it right over this cut here. Now this does fray a little bit, so if you want, when you put it on here, you could, uh, like this piece needs just to be trimmed. Just going to trim that little bit off there. There we go. I just want a little bow on there. Okay, so then we're going to take our ears. Yeah, it should be dry enough. And we're going to bend them in a bit. So just take out your bone folder or the edge of a ruler or the edge of your table and you know bend them. So we're just going to fold these over just a little bit. So they curve. I like them curved. You could do them straight if you want. There's no right or wrong. It's just yeah, just a little curve. I think I'm going to put these on with tear and tape too. So just put a piece of tear and tape across the bottom. Peel off the backing and tuck that all in. And we're going to set it on top of our ribbon right here. We have one ear. And then the second ear. Put it across the bottom. It's stuck to my finger. Off my finger. There we go. And we'll put this one right here. We'll do these little ears together. So we have our two ears, our face, and that. And then we'll take... Oh, this is our cup. I was like, what did I do with the cup? Take our candy out right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some tear and tape at the bottom of the, the pads of the foot. On the, where the round three-quarter inch circle is. Don't want the top taped because it will interfere with the lid. So just a little bit on the bottom. And there. Peel that off. And, uh, <laughs> when you want it to come off. There we go. Now, this we're going to, where our crease is, we're going to make that in the back. So, about uh, here is the center where our foot would go. And we're going to put it, like, on an angle there. And this one on an angle that way. So, we have our two feet now. And then stick our candy in, and we'll put our lid on, and we have our little bow in between our, our little feet. So you can't stick them down because of the lid, but I think it's cute and adorable, and it'd make a cute gift to give somebody for Easter, like your co-workers or your um, friends or whoever you'd like to make them for. But thank you for watching. Um, I have another Easter project I might upload in the next couple of days. But we'll be going to on stage and leaving here on Wednesday to go to on stage or Thursday. Yeah, we're leaving Thursday. So I'll try and get another video uploaded before Thursday. And then it'll be next week when we come back from on stage. And hopefully I have some lovely stuff to tell you about. So I uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you need any of the products, like I said, I will have all the measurements and things that you would need to make this cute little rabbit and um, like I said it's not my original idea I, I can't um, quote who did it but if you know the person that originally had an idea like this you could uh, list it below in my video please and give them the credit uh, I did see it made by uh, another friend in the same group and her name was Penny um, so uh, yeah 
give them credit. It, I mean, I just came up with this for myself. So um, that's the only credit I can take for this cute little idea. So uh, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would uh, love to own your business. And uh, check out all the measurements, all the products you need on my blog. And you all have a great evening. Good night now. Bye-bye.